The former Labour First Minister of Wales has spoken out against Boris Johnson's decision to block a second Scottish independence referendum. Carwin Jones, who stepped down in 2018 after nine years in the job, insisted Westminster should not stop another vote taking place. Mr Jones wrote on Twitter, if Boris Johnson says that it is entirely a matter for the UK if it chooses to leave the EU then it's entirely matter for Scotland if it chooses to leave the UK. As Brussels didn't prevent the Brexit referendum so Westminster shouldn't stop this one. His comments come amid ongoing debate over the issue in the Scottish Labour Party. Scottish leader Richard Leonard had suggested holding a special conference in May to thrash out his party's constitutional position. But in a blow to his authority, this was rejected by the Scottish Executive Committee, the party's governing body north of the border. Several Labour figures have said Westminster should not stand in the way of another referendum. But the party's only remaining Scottish MP, Ian Murray, is campaigning to become UK deputy leader on an anti-independence platform. Nicola Sturgeon said Mr Jones was a sensible Labour voice. In a letter to Miss Sturgeon, Mr Johnson said he had carefully considered the case she had made for powers to be transferred to Holyrood that would allow it to hold a vote on Scotland's future. But he said both she and her predecessor Alex Salmond had made a personal promise that the referendum in 2014 was a once-in-generation event. The Prime Minister said, the UK government will continue to uphold the democratic decision of the Scottish people and the promise that you made to them. For that reason I cannot agree to any request for a transfer of power that would lead to further independence referendums. He added, another independence referendum would continue the political stagnation that Scotland has seen for the last decade, with Scottish schools, hospitals and jobs again left behind because of a campaign to separate the UK. It is time that we all worked to bring the whole of the United Kingdom together and unleash the potential of this great country. Revealing the letter on Twitter the PM stated, Today I have written to Nicola Sturgeon. The Scottish people voted decisively to keep our United Kingdom together, a result which both the Scottish and UK governments committed to respect. Let's make 2020 a year of growth and opportunity for the whole of the UK. For more on this story, visit the news article link.